Hey YouTube, let me show you my favorite feature about machine, the virtual outs. All right, everybody, let's take a look at this session that I have open. Uh, it's a basic trap beat. This session I have, I have two drum kits in the first two banks. Then I have my bass bank, which is just one tone. And then I have my lead bank, which is two tones down here that are parts of the sequence that I'm running. And then I have a third sound up here that's gonna be my improvisational sound. Now I wanna route each one of these things to a different stereo output. Now first you do that by hitting the channel MIDI button up here. Now that's either gonna deal on a master, group, or a sound level. So what I wanna do is I wanna to go to my first drum set and change that grouping output. Now currently it's set to master, which means that output one and two of machine are gonna spit out the audio. Now when I change that, I can change it to be the first external stereo pair out, which is the same thing. That's the only confusing part here. For your first stereo pair to leave machine, you're gonna to wanna to set it to ext2, ext2. That's gonna be the first stereo pair inside the box. Now on my second drum kit, since we just set that first one to external two, I'm gonna set this to external three. I'm gonna set my bass grouping to external four. And in my lead grouping, I'm gonna get this first sound Send it to five, select the second sound, send it to six, and then my improvisational sound, and send it to seven. Now what this is gonna do is put each of these sounds into a stereo grouping inside of Ableton. Let's take a look. So in my session, my Ableton session, I've set up six stereo channels here. Um, what I'm gonna do is everything coming from machine is gonna land in one of these tracks. What you're gonna first do is go into live preferences and in the link MIDI section, you're gonna make sure that the virtual input of machine is turned on as well as the sync and the output as well as the sync. And with those things on, I can select all six of these tracks and give them to machine and then each one I'm gonna to designate to the stereo pair that I just gave inside the box. So I'm gonna go for the first drum kit, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if I record enable all these and open machine, Once I play this, you'll start seeing levels come across all these figures right here. There you go. So the major benefit of this is now you're no longer dealing with files moving around in your DAW. You're actually performing into your DAW and capturing it, which basically gives you infinite possibilities. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.